In this tutorial, we will be removing outliers using IQR technique. As usual, we'll go over some theory first, then we'll write code in Python pandas to remove the outliers. And in the end, we'll have an interesting exercise for you to solve. Here I have a heights database. Now visual examination, you can easily tell that there are some outliers here. These heights are in feet. Of course, you cannot have a person with 40 feet height. Hence, these all of these are outliers, you know, anything more than 77.1. Similarly, this is an adult data set. Hence, 1.2 height is clearly these two heights are outlier. Now, how can you detect the same thing using an IQR technique? In order to understand IQR, you first need to understand percentile. Now, what is percentile? Well, percentile is basically, for example, here, I have this uh, 5.35, which is 25th percentile. It is also called Q1. 25th percentile value means in your data set, 25% of samples are below this value. Total samples here are 20. 25% of 20 is 5 and 5 samples here are having value less than 5.35. You see 5.2, 5.1, all these values are less than 5.35. Hence, this is 25th percentile. Similarly, 75th percentile will be a value which is 6.27. So 75% of samples are having value less than 6.27. I hope you get it. So that's why 6.27 is called 75th percentile. Your maximum value will be called 100th percentile because of course all the values are below that value. Similarly, minimum value will be called 0th percentile because that doesn't have any value less than uh, that particular value, right? So this is a quick summary of percentile. Now, once you know percentile, you can easily calculate IQR by diffing Q3 and Q1. Here Q3 which is 75th percentile is 6.27 minus 5.35 is Q1. 0.925 is your IQR value. Now to remove outliers you need to come up with lower and upper limit. Your lower limit will be Q1 which is 25th percentile minus 1.5 IQR. Now IQR, if you think about it, is just, uh, diff it, it is this distance, you know, it is this much distance. So you take that distance, multiply by 1.5. So you add half into it and then you extend that from here. So from 5.35 minus 1.5 and you get this value 3.96. Similarly, upper limit will be Q3 plus 1.5 IQR. You know, they just came up with this number. You can just remember this, that you have to do 1.5 IQR plus Q3 to get your upper limit. Once you know the upper and lower limit, you can exclude audit all data points, which has value less than lower limit. So 3.96, see, these two are excluded. They, they are termed as an outlier. And any value above upper limit, which is 7.66, can also be excluded. So you can clearly see that these three values are now excluded. So just by looking at this data set visually, you can kind of say that IQR is kind of working okay in this case, because most of the people will have heights in this range. Adult having height 2.3 feet is very, very, it's probably not, not possible. And adult having a height of 14 feet is also not possible. The person, uh, doesn't need uh, stairs if he has this much height he can just go to your first or second floor all right let's get into coding now i have that height csv uh, here and i'm gonna load that into my notebook and it will look something like this so here is my data frame and now from this data frame I will quickly do df dot subscribe describe to see the statistics so you can see the 20 this is 25th percentile value 75th percentile value maximum is 40 minimum is 1.8 I, I always use describe function because it can tell you those quick stats okay now let's calculate q1 and q2 now by the way you can get q1 and q2 from here as well 
uh, but the other way of getting q1 and q2 is you take your height column and you say quantile quantile is a function so quantile and if you want 25th percentile this is what you need to do and if you need 75th percentile this is how you do it and i'll quickly print q1 and q3 so these are my percentage value iqr will be very simple formula guys this iqr is really a very very simple technique iqr value is this and now i can easily find my lower and upper limit using this formula so i'm doing q1 minus 1.5 iqr q3 plus 1.5 iqr these are my upper and lower limit and once you have upper and lower limit in a data frame you can easily detect these outliers by doing this you can say height less than lower limit or height greater than upper limit those are my, my outliers and you can clearly see see all these are coming as outliers these are the same ones that we saw in our presentation the cells marked in uh, the yellow color all right now if you want to remove these outliers from your original data frame what you can do is something like this so i'm using and condition i want to make sure the remaining samples are within this limit of lower limit and upper limit okay and the resultant data frame that you get you can maybe store that into a new data frame call it df no outlier and this is how it looks all right so that's all i had now the most interesting part of this tutorial which is an exercise believe me i'm not giving you any hard assignment these are very simple assignments but it will consolidate your understanding once you practice it on your own what you're going to do is use the heights and weights uh, data set it is very similar to what i use but it has height and weight two parameters i got this file from this kegel link you can download it or if you don't want to download it you can just go to my github page and you will find it in the exercise folder and then you need to plot histograms first for weight and then for height and then use iqr to detect outliers based on weight and then do the same thing based on height now i have a solution link but i know you you all are very good students since students so you're not going to click on this link until you have practiced this on your own all right thank you very much for watching i will see you in next feature engineering tutorial